Hello, my name's Simon Swift and I'm a lecturer in critical and cultural theory at the School of English in the University of Leeds. And the title of this podcast is a question. The distraction of autobiography? What are we doing when we read literary texts? It's long been argued by critics that the reading of novels and novels themselves became a popular form of leisure activity about 200 years ago in the course of the 18th century. This is a time when people like Daniel Defoe were publishing novels like Robinson Crusoe, which a number of critics have described as the first novel. But when you stop to think about it, it's pretty extraordinary that novels, which have always existed for pleasure, for leisure, as a form of leisure activity, can become a subject of academic study. That you can get an A-level, or even a degree, partly about the reading of novels. So what is it about novels that we think is important and worthy of study? Well, we might well think that novels can tell us a great deal about the world that they describe. We might think, for example, that a novel like Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, which I talked about in a previous podcast, can tell us a lot about the world of Britain in the 19th century. Or we might think that a novel like Mrs Dalloway by Virginia Woolf can tell us a lot about post-war London, post-First World War London, what it was like to be alive in the first days after the First World War. So too, we might think that novels can tell us a great deal about the person who wrote them, about the author. Or, to invert that relationship, we might well think that finding out about the author can tell us a great deal about what's going on in the novel. 